What if I told you that every single bit of footage after this moment got deleted? Well, that's exactly what happened and I am absolutely gutted. However, this car that you guys are about to see, I've had to pull something out of somewhere because it's unbelievable. It's a 350 horsepower Abarth with a 4C engine in and with massive thanks to Bonetto in Italy for allowing me to use their footage, I'm able to create some kind of video for you. Enjoy. Now, we all love an Abarth 595. We tune them and get good power out of them, but most owners crave for that sixth gear. What about the Alfa Romeo 4C? Again, we tune them, enjoy the lightness of the carbon fiber tub, have loads of fun with it, but it lacks the practicality element of the Abarth. What if you had the best of both cars, packed up into one car that ran a four wheel drive platform? Who would be crazy enough to attempt to build such a car? Ah yes, the Italians. Let me introduce the Abarth B1 four-wheel drive, an incredible project undertaken by the magnificent team at Bonetto in Italy. The fact that this car even exists is testament to the dedication and effort put in by this group of quite frankly bonkers people. So what is the Abarth B1 four-wheel drive all about? Well, for starters, it's running the 1.75 TBI engine found in the Alfa Romeo 4C. This car also runs 350 bhp and 500 newton meters of torque. This ridiculously tuned engine in something as light as an Abarth is insane, and you would wonder how it lays the power down. Well, thanks to the development work done by Bonetto, they have fitted the car with a four-wheel drive system to high-five the tarmac with as many of those horsepowers as possible. Furthermore, their development car once ran 380 horsepower, which shows the tunability of that 4C engine. The B1 gets a much wider track to improve its handling, but in order to get to this point, Bonetto had to build the entire suspension, hub, discs and calipers to fit. They entirely rebuilt the rear hub. It now runs four pot calipers to help stop the car, and believe me, it's needed. Each of the components seen in front of you have been structurally calculated to ensure not only that they fit, but that the handling isn't compromised either. It seems like Bonetto have thought of everything to not only make the Abarth B1 fast, but also thinking about the design too. To ensure that the Abarth keeps to its lightweight characteristics, the entire car's shell is carbon fiber. Side panels are a single mold and the only original panels left on the car are the rear tailgate, the front bonnet and the doors. The car also has front and rear customizable LSDs, which should make this car brilliantly fun and will also unsettle the back end, if you choose to that is. Now, when I met the team at Abarth Day 2019 in Milan, I was genuinely super impressed with what they had achieved with this car. Whilst I wasn't able to drive it on the day, I can show you what Alessandro thinks of the car's acceleration and what it sounds like. Over to you, Alessandro. Un'altra sensazione molto bella è quando affondi, quando affondi il gas, sentite l'accelerazione. È impressionante. Come la frenata. Che sei subito fermo. Grande feeling, ottimo feeling. I think it's fair to say that this is probably one of the most bonkers Abarth 595s in the world, not just Italy. To find out more about the car and Bonetto, check out the links in the description to their YouTube channel, Facebook page and Instagram account. 
I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm gonna see you on the next one.